Hello, this is Adam Sparks, the Tennessean. I'm here at TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha, Nebraska, where Vanderbilt took down TCU tonight 1-0 in a dramatic win to advance to Friday's game against the LSU TCU winner. I had picked out three stars of the night. It's hard to pick out three in a one nothing win, but there were three definite stars. Xander Wheel, the cleanup hitter from Murfreesboro, uh, had a solo home run, the only run of the night. He broke, broke up a no-hitter of Alex Young for TCU to lead off the seventh inning. It was a shot that just got inside the left field foul pole. It was a back-to-back -back good days for Xander Wheel. He was the second hero, you could say, of the first win over Fullerton when he had two doubles, an RBI, and a run. He was not upstage tonight as he had that solo home run to advance Vanderbilt. Number two is Philip Pfeiffer, a guy who has a really good backstory. Last year had some substance abuse issues that he overcame, came back to the team, and his College World Series debut tonight, he went seven innings, gave up four hits, seven strikeouts, and more importantly, stranded seven runners for TCU. Tim Corbin was very emotional after the game about Phil Pfeiffer's win in his first uh, College World Series game. And number three, one you may not think of and all these other guys is Kyle Wright. Freshman reliever came in again tonight. In the first game he only pitched seven pitches, two-thirds of an inning against Fullerton and got the win to improve to six and one overall. Tonight he came in after Pfeiffer shut down TCU in the past two innings. Uh, got out of a jam in the eighth, and that was his second College World Series game. As a freshman, he picked up the saves. He has a win and a save in two College World Series games now. So now it's on for Vanderbilt to Friday's game, 7 o'clock against the LSU TCU winner. One more win, and Vanderbilt, the defending national champions, are back in the national title series. From TD Ameritrade Park, I'm Adam Sparks of the Tennessean.